There we go. There we go. Fuck, the same problem happened over here. What the hell? Alright, audio is fixed. I don't know why the fuck it does that sometimes. No, I can't do it because I don't have intel. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. We're actually pretty good over here. Let's do exit strategy. Where is she? What's going on? Talk to me, buddy. What? <laughs> you fought an army of vamps with magic. You've walked in the shadow world in anima form. You talk to statues and run with fairies. So what's so weird about a grown man talking to a teddy bear? I'm a 
was in danger. She wouldn't have sent the little guy if she wasn't. Means she was scared. Now she's vanished. This thing is all about her. All of it. She's the reason I'm here. The reason we're all here. As long as she's in danger, you and me, we're on the same team. When the mutants attacked our operations at the breach, I helped Emma get away. Her and the top brass, the Smiths. I couldn't follow. I had to go back, try and salvage what I could. Prepare the evacuation. These fucking mutant vamps aren't making it easy. But with your help, though, I can get that bird ready to fly. As soon as I find Emma, our key asset, it's all about saving her. She's gone, but she's not dead. I know, he would know. We have to find her. We have to save her. In my dreams, when the bear talks, that's what he says. The world depends on it. Call me crazy, but I think the bear's right. Call me crazy. I will create the pumping station. Mad dash strategy. No. Control room. I'm you fucker. We go again in five seconds.
Easy. I think now next comes like a defense section. Assignment received. Initializing. <laughs> hey, Joe. Thanks for the twenty five months. How's it going? You probably don't even have to kill those guys. You could probably like just run up, pull them away, run a circle around, use the item, and then run off. I need to kill that factory guy. Do you double field trains usually? The fuck? On fire. Hey, Chick 
Cool Bulls in Very thanks for the follow. Here we go. Alright, we finished down Legends. Let's see how much. I anticipate this being worse. We're not. Not war. Just the, def the defense phases have historically been a lot longer. Alright, so that's one wave. Let's see how long it takes for the next wave to show up. The, what, the one in Besieged Farmland, I was able to do them at the same time because the defense wave took like fucking two minutes between each wave or something. No, that, that one's not so bad. That's more normal-ish. Also, elites are just crazy strong in TSW. say this about legends it doesn't stop you from doing other actions while you're being field transfused i don't know if it's a bug or not actually or maybe they just thought that it was it felt too limiting like playstyle wise which i kind of agree with being perma stunned the whole time really sucks about the same actually all right there is nothing like showing up all exit strategies let's not be too hasty no one is pulling you out of there just yet the Orochi data you've uploaded gives us a fascinating glimpse into their presence it suggests that everything red hand and hybrid super soldier related has come as quite a surprise to them i quote there is some nasty shit at the red hand base that could trigger an episode an episode indeed. Which is prime focus was advancing the Prometheus initiative at the breach. Also keeping Emma Smith with the handlers. Emma Smith. It is strange to see the Rochi operative exhibit such a personal level of concern for a corporate asset. It goes against everything in the Rochi handbook. I suppose even borderline sociopaths have a limit. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um... Do I have? Actually, I should hold on to that so I can make another green one. Probably. Let me check and see if this is a regular rare or a group player. I actually don't remember. That is a group one. I think this is a regular one. Yeah, this is a regular one. Okay. We'll get this one. That one is kind of a pain. He flies away from health and you have to find him. Is that is it that one? 
I know there is one like that. Is it that guy? You don't need him for the 100% completion. I will say, like, not having this animal well is really annoying. Having to walk? With my own legs? Like some kind of rube? Alright, we can do where it doesn't belong. That's some solid work up there. I'm impressed. We're all set for evac. As long as... <sighs> no word. I've been to the safe house a dozen times, trying to make sense of it all. That place at top-of-the-line wards. The best magic money can buy and Orochi facilities can manufacture. It was sealed tight. And Emma... I know she's capable of... walking. Anywhere. From the state of the house, I'd say something found its way through. That's just not possible. We're partners now, so it's time to level with you. I can't really tell you much about the breach. I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just know it's vitally important to a lot of people, and that it has something to do with Emma. I can tell you there's a lot more to all of this than a bunch of bloodthirsty vamps and their crazy queen. They were released for a reason, by someone with their eyes on the breach, and on Emma. I've done the best I can. I've got talents. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna go sticking my head where it don't belong. You got a better shot than me to scope around for information, and maybe find out what's really going on here. And hopefully, deal some real damage you know you may not trust me yet but think about it like this if Emma's best friend trusts me can't be all bad right right Like they expect you to use the sprints they haven't loaded? Wait, what do you mean? I must have. I'm, I'm missing something. I'm missing context somehow. Remark about no animal wells and having to walk in the same. <laughs> yeah, but if you recall, like, they didn't even have, like, mount sprints and didn't have the faster sprint until, like, way later. Literally until Bylos um, moved. Because Bylos was hardcore. Joel was hardcore against um, mount. do that in full you. It stops you from moving, it doesn't stop you from acting, whereas in TSW it's like a silence. You just can't fucking do anything.
I should probably read this on this side as well. Hope she doesn't respond too quickly. Oh, yes, dude. That was nice. Alright, this is the same. Which I expected, but still. Oh my god, these things fucking respawn. You. Wow, that respawn is pretty quick. Oh, these guys respond. Alright, I think we're good there. I prefer sprints and mounts I can just attack straight away and not have to dismount. So, except self fork, self like boo. I mean, that's fair. But, I mean, I don't really find too many of the n normal sprints, like, that interesting where I want to walk across the whole map fucking using them. I mean, I like, as far as the normal ones, I guess Ninja Sprint is probably my longest running favorite. Although it's not what I'm using right now. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, see, he, he runs away if you get up here, because he can. He can get to you. I think that should work over here, too. I, I assume? Sitting here using this room on my main for a long while. My ults have been using... Yeah, I'm using Gatekeeper Touch uh, on my main right now as well. Just, you know. But I was basically rocking the Ninja Sprint for fucking ever. On both CSW and Legends. Yeah, see, he's like, I can't get you. Oh, wait, can you not? Ah, because there's no reticle, I don't think you can. I don't, I don't think you can access this through the window. Interesting. I didn't even think about that.
destroy 10 power cells. Fuck off. What? It somehow had targeted like the person behind him in the background. Target them through there. Lame. I need to take these guys out. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna climb the ladder and they're gonna come after me. I didn't even, I didn't even hit that, you fuckers. I literally did not hit the button to climb. Oh my god, sprint climb! <laughs> I forgot sprint climb's a thing. Nice. I genuinely forgot that that got patched in Legends. That's kind of awesome. I wonder... He reset? Yep. I think. Oh no, he's still chasing me. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get him to reset and then run around while he's resetting, but that did not appear to work. He should de-leash at some point, though.
down him. What the fuck? Did those things respawn? They respawned really fast. Holy shit. Though, because I'm pretty sure I already destroyed those. Right? Maybe I destroyed one of them and not the other or something? I don't, I'm not really sure. Bing bada boom. Why am I not getting you back in the sprint? Wait, did I not load it? Wait, what? Oh man, I don't think I did on, on this side. Shit. Yeah, I don't think I loaded the coil. I think I just grabbed the coil. Yeah, son of a biscuit. And now those guys respawned. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, now we get to use the test coil. What? Boom. And just like ran off. Okay. Oh, this is from the side mission. Signals Intelligence is a rarefied game, my friend. Your work here shall further confirm that we are the very best in the business. The frequency is now being monitored 
uh, by a select group of our finest polyglots. Nothing is coming through at the moment other than a very distant scraping sound. Like cutlery from a neighbor's dinner party. One hopes this isn't UBB76 all over again. I have no doubt there will be words sooner or later, hopefully ones that describe more than local weather. Speaking of which, we are having a spectacular spell in London. One is almost tempted to wear shorts. Almost. Alright, and then we have... Fine work. We have tracked down the manufacturer of the power cells, a guileless little factory out of Saratov, and persuaded them to restructure their operation. In the process, we got a splendid bargain on lithium batteries. Tesla Coil is a sad reminder of what might have been. We tried desperately to secure Coil's allegiance as the Illuminati, but he remained a free agent to the end. That his technology got appropriated by the Red Hand is tasteless but not surprising. The name Emma continues to intrigue. However, I'm not yet willing to concede that it is, quote, all about her. Good fight demands a global perspective. Oh, I have ran, run out of inventory slots to be able to take this turn in. Fix that real quick. There we go. Oh, we got another gadget, a medical drone. That's a shit gadget. All right. So what? Oh, did we hit O there? What are we looking at here? All right. It was only the red thread for investigation. We could do the vampire guy stuff, right? That would clear out. Like a little section there. Oh, it's a nightmare mission on this side. That'll be interesting. So I'm thinking... I've been thinking about it some more. And I think I might actually try and do a speedrun of CSW for game for Extra Life Game Day. Um, I've done Legends a bunch of times. I don't... I could do it again, but I feel like it would just be like retreading the same thing. And I don't think I ever really did speedruns of the story in TSW. I theoretically, like on just a pure mission requirement basis, it should be faster. Because Legends doesn't require you to do nearly as much or sorry, TSW doesn't require nearly as much stuff to like progress. But at the same time, that means you're going to hit shit, like, way weaker, which might take longer, if that makes sense. Like, because you're weaker, stuff is going to be more difficult, and you're going to do less damage. Though, you don't have South Africa at all, so there's not that to do. But that doesn't take a terribly long time. You admire my collection, my library, my torture chamber. Torture, yes. 
for a poet writes his works in his heart's blood. In life, I was a man of the world, an hedonista in the finest company, writers, dancers, artists, a warrior prince, and his dark-eyed princess. Now, I am as a withered, dry rose pressed in my own books, cataloging the long, famished years. But I would suffer five hundred more if it would absolve my past. I assure you, memories are more bitter than the cold, more maddening than the gale. Like the vampires of gothic tales, make the mistake of inviting them in, and they will consume you. So I buried my memories in hallowed ground. If you must know what haunts these rocky fangs and the castle perched upon them, you can dig into the snow and frozen earth like the penitent do. Or read me as a cautionary tale, and leave them where they lie, cold and dead as my soul. You at least have a choice. Difficulty spiked in Blue Mountain for one. I'm. They they remember if you remember though they smoothed that out a fair bit. I'm I'm actually not so concerned about that, as I am. Um, as I am, say like Transylvania or or even Tokyo. <laughs> Because I've, I've, I've not speed run the way I speed run Legends, but I did like level alts in TSW at some point and fairly quickly. And I did definitely remember. Um. Definitely remember, like Aegis being very painful at very low levels. Like what I mean is like like low Aegis. Um, skill and low Aegis like equipment. I think I, I think I beat Orochi Tower with like like the bare minimum uh, on, on at least one of my alts, like the like one capacitor or something like that that was like never leveled, and that shit was fucking painful. Hey, Night Wolf Run. I haven't completed this game yet, but I just came back to playing it today. I chose Templar. Nice! Level 5. Okay, so you're Kingsmith, and if you're just level 5, you probably just hit uh, the Sheriff Station, I assume. Maybe did like a mission after that, potentially. I think you were like level 4 when you hit, when you literally hit the Sheriff Station in Kingsmith. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm actually playing Templar right now. Um, I think I did it partly because I hadn't done a Templar playthrough in a little bit. And partly because... Uh, there's a specific faction mission 
but I wanted to see if the bug existed in TSW, if it exists in Legends, and it, it did. So that was, it was for science, mostly. What? Dude, I swear I didn't break that. Well, the whole point of me learning them out was to not. The range on that AoE's gotta be big enough. I didn't know. Yeah, the, the story in this game is the reason to play it, quite honestly. The story is fucking amazing. That and, like, every mission has really nice, like, uh, cinematics that tell the story, like, like, mocap cinematics. A few quests, not much. I deleted my little Tim Lunani re figure out how to play. I don't know which one I really want to go with. So, um, if you want to remake to, to choose a different faction, I, w I understand that. But as far as, like, weapon combination or stuff like that, you don't need a remake to do that. What classes in this game are not, like, they're literally just starting weapon combos. You're intended on a single character to eventually unlock all the weapons. On a single character, and you combine them however the fuck you want. That goes for both versions of the game, actually. Both, both CSW and SWO. Um. So, yeah, uh, and part, part of the reason for that, um, is these, these stat passives, like this plus 13 to hit rating that I'm, I don't have a shotgun equipped, but I'm getting this, because these things are global, like they're permanent, it do, you don't have to have the weapon equipped, you, you just, um, uh, these, these stats apply to your character all the time, no matter what. So you eventually want to unlock all the weapons and unlock all the passives. And then these uh, capstone... Where's my capstone? Yeah, these capstones. As you unlock these, they, they grant permanent stat buffs. So you want, like, all the capstones eventually across all the weapons. And then with anima allocation, you can be DPS or tank or healer or some combination right so like it really is intended that eventually on your single character you can do whatever the fuck you want uh, now it's free to play you only have like one character slot so uh, if you wanted to see different faction i could see deleting your character and starting over but you shouldn't feel like you need to start over uh to like switch weapons or abilities or something you eventually you eventually want everything I for forgot controls haven't played since called Just Secret World. The controls are different between the two of them. Because Legends is a reticle. Reticle combat. And then TSW, like I have to hold right mouse to move around. And then like, you know, it's more like WoW or something, I guess. I don't know. I never played WoW, but that's my understanding. Um... I probably shouldn't leave this guy here. This is a bad bad place to just hang out. Let me move him. I'm actually playing um, Legends with the mouse and keyboard right now and playing 
on this side I'm playing with an Xbox controller because I didn't I didn't I don't like the default controls in in the original game I always played that with a controller because I hate having to hold right mouse button just to look around me off. Yeah. I deleted my character when I found out it was called Legends and I couldn't remember how to play, so I'm gonna start out fresh. Did you have You had to have played it before, so like characters didn't transfer over transfer over from the original. Maybe you played it when it first relaunched, um, in 2017 or something, and then just forgot. Because, like, the characters didn't convert over. The systems are too different. Yeah, I can see that. And yeah, if you were, you said you were what? Um, it was level ten. Level ten's like, you know, you literally just started. You know, so it's it's not a huge amount to like redo. Why are you over there? The fuck. And he went way... Sometimes these guys will just fucking go crazy distances to do a range attack. That happens in both versions of the game, actually. But they just decide they're gonna... They want to do a range attack, so they're gonna go like a million miles away. No, I what? Oh my god, I wasn't targeting that. You fucker. I was personally not trying to shoot those fucking urns. Seeing those crit pens really brings back fun memories. I do not miss the extra stats, I gotta tell you. I always thought that was a little ridiculous. There's like layers and layers of fucking, did I hit? Did I do good damage? Did you hit? Did you wait? It goes. It was hit crit pen, right? Did you hit? Did you crit? Did you pen? Or did it? Was it hit pen crit? I forget now. Planning to assault and pistol, try and get Templar soldier deck outfit. You still do that? There are certain outfits that come from completing the the weapon. I don't remember which one goes, like which one you get. What? Why did those guys show up? I don't... Un you know, this used to happen to me all the time, actually, with TSW. I don't know why these guys show up. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me.
Are they triggered to show up, maybe? That was fucking close. Holy shit. Now see, if I was speed running this fucking thing, I wouldn't do that shit at all. I would just run in, break the urn, grab the letter, and then die and like reset out. You know what I mean? They're okay, there's- oh my god, there's so many more ads. Jesus Christ. Holy Jesus! <laughs> I chose a mercenary as my starting class, so I have enough of a twin pistol. It shouldn't take you long. If you look at- I think it's Shift... J? Yeah. Look at your daily challenges. Like, you earn marks. Um, so what? Three main missions, three side missions... 50 monster kills, right, 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 and then, then you complete those, yeah, if you just do the first half of your challenges, which is like the first five, which once you finish these it unlocks the next five, if you just do this first half, you, you should have like five or six K, and the first weapon only costs either three or five, I, f I forget which it is, it's three or five K marks, so, the longest part of that is like the three main missions, but even in Kings Myth, like they're fairly quick. The one from Boone at the start is a really quick mission, and there's a side mission there. Um, there's a quick one, a fairly quick one at the church. Uh, probably you could even do. Um, hey, where the fuck am I? This way. Maybe Madame Rosette mission or something? Or one from Andy or something, something like that? It's 5k marks, you have 2k? Yeah, if you complete that first half, as long as you haven't spent them on anything else, you'll have enough to buy the, the weapon. And then like for like the 50 kills, um, you just farm the zombies on that first stretch. Because they, they, they're super easy to kill and um... They're super easy to kill. Oh, also you can spawn them. You can just jump on top of cars to trigger the alarm so it spawns four zombies. And you can just, you can like get your your kill challenge really fast that way. Dude, I can't believe how many of these fucking things are there. Like, all this is not. All the, this whole first section isn't there in Legends. Which, you know, thank Christ, because this is fucking stupid. Like, why is there a goddamn army of them right there? Oh god, I pissed off everybody. I almost talked to the wrong person. Okay. We cleared the church. Except for the lingering one. I know this part's gonna probably suck. If you don't like, Im actually, it doesn't look like you can even impair that in in the original. But if I thought you could, maybe it glanced. Yay! My favorite faction is probably dragon. That's what my main is. My main's a dragon. I've played all. I've played through all of them many, many, many times. Like, a ridiculous amount of time. 
Um, in Legends alone, I think something like eight, is it? sixteen characters or something like that. And then uh, I don't know, probably like how many did I make in this A couple of accounts, maybe like twelve or something. So I've played I've played through the both iterations of the game as all different factions a ton of times but the reason I like dragon is story related is because the Illuminati and the Templar are both cool but they're known quantities so like in the real world Illuminati and the Templar you can go look up like Wikipedia you can like research you know they're, they're known concepts right and then in the game, they're also kind of known. Like, the Illuminati know about the Templar. The Templar know about the Illuminati. When you do, like, faction missions, you have turn-ins related to those things. They're like, yes, we know the Illuminati does shit like this. Or, yes, we know the Templar does shit like that. The dragon, no one has a fucking clue about the dragon. Also, sometimes the dragon doesn't have a clue about the dragon. But they have more of a clue than anyone else. So, like, if you're playing through as a Templar, you'll learn about Templars and Illuminatis and learn that you know nothing about Dragon. If you're playing through as Illuminati, you'll learn about Illuminati and Templar and learn that you know nothing about the Dragon. If you're playing through as a Dragon, you know about both Illuminati and Templar because they're both known quantities in the world. Um, but you also learn a little bit about your own. Not a ton, because they're still very mysterious and weird, but you learn more than the other ones do. So... Like, I would say, if you have to play through the game only one time, I personally will do it as a dragon because I feel like you get the most information possible out of that single playthrough. That said, all of them have different uh, mission turn-ins. And even for some random weird side mission, there's little mission turn-ins that like have little story pieces that like are amazing and like give you a bigger picture or, or that little piece of information that you didn't know you needed or were missing. So it's worth playing through the game, at least through the story, as all of them at least once. Um, but I feel like if you had to pick one, the dragon's the one um, that, knows the, that knows the most about all the factions. Because they're the only ones that know about themselves. Well, you know, Illuminati, Kirsten Geary is fucking awesome. Um, Templar's got some really good faction missions. Like, that's why I'm playing through this one is Templar. Penitent Vampire. Something of... The vampire has to remain in the realms of romance and myth, I suppose. An antidote to the ugly reality. Yes, her new acquaintance's tale is tragic. And to be fair, we must review every possible avenue to Mara's court. And yet, however willing he is to let you into his tortured confidence, I urge you to limit the extent you let him into yours. Those two Mara and their bastard broods are alike in their blood, not ours. As he has told you himself, the humanity they possess is long gone. Long dead. I think I have to... Like that. So let me, yeah. Alright. Uh, what am I doing for devastating? Like this one? Yeah. Critical empowerment results.
was doing this, right? Yeah. And what do we have here? So you can have temperance, so you can have shards. And like this. Oh, the inventory in the old fucking one. Jesus. Did you delete my Templar and do Dragon for somebody in the game? I mean, do do what you want to do. Also, I mean, um, it also it also has to do with a little bit with like personal preference. You know, a lot of people like playing as Templar because they like the whole the the Templar order kind of kind of deal. It seemed like you wanted the the Templar outfit. Like all of them have different kind of looks. I will say, of the faction outfit, like. There's, okay, so there's two different types of things. There's your faction outfit, and then there's, like, faction styled, um, like, weapon outfits, I guess. So the dragon have some cool, I forget what it's called, but the dragon has some cool weapon combo outfits. But as far as the faction uniforms, the dragons are probably the least impressive. Uh, which is sucks it because they are they are my favorite, but they're basically are wearing fucking green tracksuits, like it's it's not super great. The temp like arguably both Illuminati and Templar have better uh, faction uniforms. Um, but when it, but as far as like the faction like weapon combo outfits like like mercenary or or I forget what the Templar one's called. Those are cool. Uh, for the other factions, and the dragon has some cool ones of those. Um, yeah, it also, it also kind of just depends what you're into. You know, Illuminati is kind of like sex, drugs, rock and roll. Templar is, you know, Templar. And then dragon is, is chaos theory. Uh, I think it's like Korean, technically. I want to say. So it, it, it depends also, like... Um, what you personally would enjoy, I suppose. Oh, this one's also a nightmare mission. Hmm. How's an investigation mission gonna be a nightmare one? That's weird. Okay, I really don't know which one I want to complete the game with faction first faction lines. I mean you could just do the intro sequence. Um I suppose. You could you could grab you could um use another email and just make another free account and so you don't have to delete your one and just start start on the other one and see which one you like more, I guess, theoretically. Look I have my main account. But you only, you can only have eight characters even on a paid account, so I have I have like four I think free accounts for all the different playthroughs I've done. Like I did like um well the different speed run different speed runs um different sort of like concept challenge runs I did like a no death run I did like a permanently poisoned run things like that so like I'll, like I'll just make an account to, to play through free because I don't have any room on my main account Centuries are too long and too cold for Vendetta. I have tried to purge myself of it all. Her betrayal of Vlad Dracula, my patron, my friend. The Queen Mara has surely forgotten hunting me for some new cruel pursuit. But how 
can I forget? It was she who named me Callisto from her Greek studies. A woman's name, I did not say she studied well. And it was she who made me all that I now am. Less than human. A bloodthirsty beast, a cowering Judas. She made a trophy of me before I could resist. Haughty, hungering. She was certain that Vlad, too, would bear his neck for her. She misjudged him badly. He shared none of my weaknesses for flesh, for power, for immortality. We three were puppets in a passion play. But to whose strings did we truly dance? That one earns my enmity until the sun is swallowed up. The shape, the scent of a woman I never saw clearly, but I sense her everywhere. In the candle's guttering flame, in the pool of a shattered flagon, in rose petals crushed underfoot, traces of red. Even now, even here to this very day. But it cannot be. My hate deludes me. She is a vision, a dream. My shame and guilt made waking dream. And the centuries have passed too long and too cold for Vendetta. Vendetta. Hey Scratch, how's it going? Find the place where Mara studied. I believe I bid you welcome. So, oh yeah, this is the book area, right, with the candles. Fuck, I'm gonna have to look up the guide for this. I don't want to try and solve this tonight, like manually. Even with the guide, I sometimes fuck it up and end up having like repeatedly snuff candles. Thought me trying to get off first island with one faction, get more info trying to get off and make two more accounts do the same thing and figure out which one I wanted I made. I plan to pay for a sub on that account instead of me. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Wait, it's is this book? I think it's this book. Yep. Salve. TSWDB.com, here we come. Ooh, the Polyphia album comes out in 24 hours. Oot. Just got a notification on my phone while I was looking up this mission. Uh, let's see, missions, picking things. The one I am playing Templar is right now I pay $60 to grow back before I was free. Uh, you can, you should be able, if you haven't already, you can link the account and then you go to, um, whenever you make an, a, a, a character on it, you go to, uh, settings not settings what is it menu delivered items and there'll be like a claim tsw vanity button down here and you can get all like all the cosmetic stuff you unlocked in the original uh you can claim in legends so like outfits shirts um stuff like that 
well, you know what I mean, like cosmetics in general. And I think sprint, I think at least some sprints. The only, the only t time you wouldn't get certain things is if they're achievement related. It might make you re-get the achievement to get them. Um, but you should, if you haven't already, check that because when you make a character, you have to do it like every time. So check there and see if you have a claim TSW vanity button. And then if you don't and you know it's the same account, you could go to the Funcom thing where you log into your account and you should be able to link. You should be able to link there, I think. And then the button would show up. Alright, so... How is that helpful? Oh, 146, okay. Where, where's the entrance? So from the entrance, we go... One... Four... Yay. Quick access inventory updated. Play, oh wait, play the Leer. Let's add that here. Dude, I love, I love the ones that have like the song things. So cool. Woke up more. There we go. Yay. All right, so now. Holy oh, Jesus. Look, this thing, this one is so annoying because it just because it's such a long sequence. Can't. 
All right, so it goes one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, so this is three. Inventory updated. Quick access inventory updated. Alright. I'm gonna do that same shit over here. Um, maybe. Wait, can I? Why can't I click this? I do not like that one. It's too many steps. And too easy to fuck it up. So, Jupiter, Callisto, Juno, Diana. What a poet. How far will you go without going all the way? You're so thirsty, but you don't drink. Must we play this game forever? The truth is, I find your poems boring, and you'll get nothing from me. At least, no more than the endless years you've gotten already. The water babbles, Callisto, but not for you. Because you were never among her favorite. Are some missions still appearing in the first island where the position is? I mean, are there, are there investigation missions like this? Yes. They're not um, mandatory, though. If, if they're not your thing, you don't you don't like them or something, you can skip them. There's like one, I think, that you have to do there. It's part of the storyline, but it's it's basically an intro to inv investigation, so the answer is like literally plastered all over the inside of the room. Um, Well, she's not gonna be able to do any of that shit. What am I thinking? Well, she can't do that one either. Son of a bitch. I guess do this one. 
so Mara's hidden vault is down in here. Yeah, you're probably thinking of like um, maybe Kingsmith code. I think there's two actually. I think they're both from the preacher, right? Well, I mean, there's more than two. There's um. There's also the one from Madame Rosette. Although I don't think that one's nearly as difficult. The ones at the church are much are much more difficult. Comparatively. Alright, so here I think we're just gonna try and run. We might even dead run some of this. Fuck. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Yep. So dying is fine. We can run around while we're dead. We can basically leapfrog places this way. Because all that shit's crazy difficult, and I don't actually need to fight it right now. There's another mission where I have to come through here. But since we're not doing that mission... At the moment, no reason to slog through all this shit. Now, and we can just walk back to our body. Really, dude. Let's let's see if we can. How hard is this guy to play? It's hard. Oof. I survived. Fuck me. It's okay. <laughs> we'll just run back again. That's where we need to be. That's where you that's that's her hidden vault bullshit. No, oh, I need to repair too. You haven't seen much Templar players in Kimmy playing? They're they're around. Oh, this is the wrong entrance. Um, so you won't, oh, I went the wrong way entirely, holy shit. Uh, so specifically Legends has instance caps. So there's a soft cap of 10, a hard cap of 13 on the open world zones. So like the Kingsmith, which is the first, you know, area you're in. Uh, there's only ever going to be a hard max of 13, normally no more than 10. The only way you get above 10 is, like, if people are grouped or something. Like, if there's a 10-man raid, there, there might be one or two extra people if they were already in there. But it's a, it's a hard cap of 13 for the zone. Agartha's got a hard cap of, like, 100, I think. And I want to say, like, London, um, New York, places like that have, like, a cap of 40. So you're, you're apt to see more people in Agartha, obviously, than anywhere else. Um, but that said, it's not like it fills one instance of Agartha before another one pops. There's, there's at least, I want to say three, if not four Agarthas always happening at the same time. So you'll see people will post in like looking for groups saying they're doing mega bosses that like run out of Agartha. 
and they'll you know they'll say meet up because they might be doing a mega boss with a portal open and Agartha to it, and you won't be able to join because you're in a different Agartha going. This portal's not open, so just something to be aware of. Oh, also, since you're new, once your character hits King's Myth, um, you can do the the Halloween events going. You can do the Jack Hourly boss. Because it auto scales your character up to the level of the of the encounter, so at two minutes after the hour, every hour, a portal opens in Agartha. It's kind of on the when you jump to the the big center place. It's off to the left. It's got a bunch of Halloween decorations. That portal opens at two minutes after the hour every hour, um, and when you go in there, it auto scales up your damage and your health for the fight. And when you beat him, it gives you like a, a buff on your character that lets you open one of the pumpkins. So like if you're doing like your login rewards, when you when you log in, you get these little pumpkins that you can't open. You beat him, and you get the, you get a little effect that lets you open one of those pumpkins, and it gives you like cosmetic or title or whatever. Uh, there's, there's it's actually a list of stuff. It gives it to you in order. So whatever you don't have, it gives you the next thing. But it's fun, and you get cool shit. You, and you can get like I think I want to say you can get like glowing eyes from there. You can get all kinds of Halloween stuff. But some of the cooler cosmetics are like the glowing. You can get like different colors of glowing eyes put on your character. Pretty pretty nice. All right, so this guy's at the star puzzle. I need to get this guy. You got glowing eyes here. I have. I actually have a spare pair sitting in my bank to like give away later or something. Wonder. I don't have a teleport gadget over here, do I? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, the Halloween event. Also, like you can't do this one until you're much higher level, but there's these radios in places of death with playing old radio plays. Again, in response to hundreds of requests. They're pretty cool. Three Skeleton Key. Starring Vincent Price. Starring Vincent Price. Wait, what the fuck direction am I going? Picture this place. A gray tapering perimeter welded by iron rods and concrete to the key itself. A fair black rock, 150 feet long, maybe 40 wide. That's at low tide. At high tide, just the lighthouse, rising 110 feet straight up out of the ocean. And all about it, it's turning water. Gray, green, scum, that will warm its feet. I don't wanna let me go. <laughs> come on, come on. I can die on the on the thing. If I need to. I'm okay with that. Oh shit. I came out of combat. Pretty cool. Why does my sound sound really far away? Is that loading, guys?
me do this. That still sounds from low as hell. Might, it might just be my ears. I've been having like, um, I don't know, like allergy, allergy things or something. Sometimes I'll just yawn or something, my ears pop and all of a sudden I can hear it at a higher volume. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even realize that it's happening. All right, so wait, east, this way, okay. Those two, this little guy, this one. Yay, we did it! We did the constellation! Sometimes these things are like hard to actually click on. Dude, I swear this was easier on the legend side, Jesus Christ. Who would have thought this would be easier with a reticle than just a regular mouse? Okay, what am I missing? This one, I'm missing this one. I think? Oh, and this one. There we go. Jesus. Ah, we have a difference. I don't think the text is difference, but in TSW, they had no paragraph breaks, and in Legends, they put in the paragraph breaks. Minor difference. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red.
then her lips red. Sonnet 130. Callisto was no Shakespeare, but I have a pet theory that the same dark lady may have infiltrated their lives and colored their verse. Mara is no fair youth in all this, but she is indeed a puppet in a play. That other has been sowing torment since long before their time. I won't insult your intelligence by uttering her name again. Besides, I have heard from respectable sources that once she touches the tongue, it is very difficult to turn back. We need to only look tomorrow for the evidence. Yeah, I knew my fucking shit was going to be capped. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Why is this... What? Why is this shit lit up green? Oh, because I have... Okay, I see what happens. I don't think I ever really used that. Purple Valley. Oh, I already have blue one. I guess I can get rid of that one then. Critical empowerment results. So we have officially decoded the fangs because we finished the investigation missions. Maybe, man, there's really not. I mean, I know we have issue seven that loops back through the zones, but there's not a ton of stuff to to do in the Carpathian fangs compared to the other zones. It's kind of crazy. Controller timed out. Oh, I need to repair my gear.
294. Wow, I don't need much more black bullion. I think I need, what, six more to be able to buy uh, this piece, I want to say. Couldn't find eight pure dust. All right, there we go. Oh wow, that got rid of like a lot of dust. You don't have any dust left. But I have a lot more heal potions, so I mean, that works out. Alright, let's go back here. I think we're gonna do selected memories real quick, because that should be pretty fast. way taking what doesn't belong to you what do you want what you took from the red hand base i've been keeping an eye on it figuring you'd be thinking the same thing i was thinking i want it and this isn't moscow liddy this time i have the gun fuck you <laughs> really what is it with all the cursing today last time i heard so many fucks coming out of your mouth you had a me at the end of each and every one and i like to think of it as reappropriation not theft you're the thief, Liddy. You always were. Even before selling out to the Phoenicians. Like you of the moral high ground here? Did you even ask yourself what your people were up to out here? And the girl. Don't tell me there's any possible justification for that. Fuck you, though, because I don't have whatever it is you think I have. And if I did, I'd take the bullet before I gave you the satisfaction. The bullet would give me satisfaction. Right. Did you already forget what happened in Khartoum? Do I need to remind you? I'm not the one with the selective memory. I seem to remember someone saying she'd never harm me, never double-cross me, never stop loving me. The only thing I remember is kicking your ass. The famous ghost, bested by a Phoenician agent. Not your proudest moment. Besides... <laughs> That's the girl I fell in love with. Always going for the balls. Fuck you. I know, I know. Go ahead, you've done it once before, you can do it again. You don't have what I'm looking for? Fine, I'll leave you alone. Yeah, run away. It's what you always do. See, I'm not the only one with the selective memory. You never showed up in Bangkok. I took you for dead. And so I went to New Carthage. Bye, Liz. See you around. All right. Gain entrance to the Soviet base. Wait for the vampire to walk out.
Fuck. I jumped fucked up. I hit space, but it didn't actually jump. That's irritating. You can jump at the back wall and grab the documents through it if you don't fuck up the jump. I don't remember if you could do that in TSW or not. It might just be because of the reticle. I mean, it's still, still salvageable. We can still do this. That poison is supposed to kill him. It doesn't even... Doesn't do shit. You're supposed to blow up the front, but because you can... You blow up... You blow up the front and you're... When you're inside, you're supposed to open the door to the back. The seam for you to interact with opening the back door is there, so you can just do it. You could even do that in um, TSW though. The escape hatch puts you out here. All right, let's see. I don't think you can grab things through walls because you don't have the reticle stuff. But we can give that a shot and see what happens. We got the achievement. Yeah, we got the achievement over there. Just gotta wait for this guy. I didn't mean to hit the bottom there. Why can I jump up there? Uh oh. No! What? Wait, it hits you from underneath? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I was underneath. How did that hit me? Yeah, you can, you can trigger it, but you can't examine it through the wall. And Legends, you can actually examine it through the wall as you as you drop because of the reticle. Let's see if this works the way it's supposed to over here. Oh look, he died to the poison. Like he's fucking supposed to. 
I think for a while in Legends, he didn't even react to the explosion. Like, you couldn't get him to leave this fucking door. I mean, you could if you got him to chase you, I guess. Yeah, so you're supposed to blow this up, which blows this lock and opens this side. Then you go in and get the documents, and then you can open this, uh, the back from inside and use the sewer exit. But the interaction for the back, there's like a seam, and you can just click it. So you never have to blow up the front, because that aggroes those guys. Ta-da! I am beyond impressed with your infiltration of the Super Soldier Complex. That could not have been easy. All information we can gain about the abandoned Red Hand, red hand experience and the mutant Super Soldiers is worth going extra mile for. Hence, I am pleased you went through the trouble. The old files were heavily encrypted. No wonder you couldn't make anything of them. I've sent them for analysis, and I'm told we've struck gold. I've not been given permission to share the contents with you. I'm afraid, at least not until we know more. Critical nice. to level on that thing, finally. The time is now 11.11. 11. Which, if you're not aware, it's a line. Not only is it the time right now, but it's a line from, it's a line from, um, Rochi Tower. Isn't there a, is there not a dock window in TCW? There it is. There we go. All right, that's an opportune time for me to stop. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate the follows and such. Let's see if I'm gonna host somebody before I head out. I I think tomorrow should be a zero point report uh, podcast stream, uh, unless something comes up. So we'll, I'll be over on on that channel. We'll be doing something. Halloweeny probably, maybe even one of the other Funcom Halloween games like Hide and Shriek or something. I don't know. Hey, Mikey. Lurking around, I see. Yeah, I figure we'll probably do something, assuming we can all make it. Probably do that. That would that would be our last pre-Halloween stream. I can't do long tomorrow night. We can play Intrigue and might be able to join. Oh, he's chairman. If the time's anything up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could also just do Halloween shit inside of Secret World. Or maybe even a little of both. Um. Oh, well, there's no one else streaming Secret World at the moment. Let's see. Whatever people want, really. Someone is streaming Moons of Madness, though, which is another... which is set in the Secret World IP. About 50 years in Secret World Legends future. So, um, 
We're going to throw over to them. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.